Hello Gemini and welcome to the Green Woman Tarot. This is your reading for the next two weeks, which is from the 2nd to the 16th of August 2021. And it's a general reading just to see what sort of energies are around you at this time, to see what's on the cards for you. But before we delve into the tarot reading, I need to consult the oracle. And this is a compendium of Witch's Oracle, which I'm using today to draw a couple of cards from, just to start your reading off with. So let's see. What words of wisdom does the mysterious Oracle have for Gemini for the second to the 16th of August 2021. What messages are here for Gemini for the next two weeks? What does, <clears throat> what does Gemini need to know at this time? As you can see, I've got a slightly different setup. Um, my sister has gifted me with this lovely spread cloth she made for me, so I've decided I want to use that and change the setup ever so slightly. But let's draw you your first two cards. Let's see what you get. Okay, you get brer and hair. <laughs> They rhyme, but that's neither here nor there. So with prayer, actually, it, this talks of um, boundaries or, you know, it may warn of things um, being difficult to get through, but mostly it's about setting firm boundaries to keep you safe. And you've also got the hair, which is about a need for being alert, keeping your ears and eyes open to signs, to suggestions, um, being aware and being being careful about keeping your, um, protecting yourself with, with, with firm boundaries. Another message we can take from the hair is that, um, you know, be, be alert and ready to move when the time comes, to move quickly and be prepared to um, navigate the way forward in a slightly um, erratic way. So, you know, the, the, the path forward will not be straight. It could zigzag a bit, it could meander a little bit. So there's a lot of messages we can take from this, but looking at it today, I think it's, it's urging you to be watchful and be wary of your boundaries. So let's see though where the rest of the reading takes us. So let's see what's on the cards for Gemini for the 2nd to the 16th of August 2021. What messages are here for Gemini? for the next two weeks. What does Gemini need to know at this time? So today I'm using the Llewellyn Tarot deck and I'll be putting out an eight card spread for you with the first two cards depicting you, where you are now in your current situation. The next two cards will highlight the challenges that you're facing at this time or your aspirations with the following two cards offering you some guidance from divine energies as you move towards the final two cards which may reveal your possible outcome to this time period and that certainly will show the potentials arising, the energies that you're moving towards. 
So let's see what you get. This is flown out for you. You've got the Six of Cups, a bit of nostalgia, a return to the past or a visit from someone in the past. And then you've also got the Six of Pentacles. So you've got two sixes at the beginning. This is all about giving and taking, giving and receiving. Um, your challenges are the Queen of Cups and the Hanged Man. And there you have your guidance is the Eight of Wands and the Sun. And the outcome cards are the Five of Swords and the King of Cups. And there you have at the bottom of the deck the Two of Cups. So this is, um, this is about a connection, a union between two that is passionate perhaps or certainly intense. It has a lot of potential to develop into a connection that is long lasting and beneficial. However, what I'm seeing in the cards today are these um, dog roses here the, 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 with the thorny bramble that sort of makes me think of this prayer. So perhaps we can take from that um, um, a message that if you're entering into a union, you must certainly set clear boundaries and stick to them. Because, you know, I've also got a feeling that it sort of resonates quite well with this return to the past. The Six of Cups, where you are now, is, is um, about nostalgia, visiting the past in one way or another. Whether it's you want to recapture an essence that was simple and innocent in your past or whether something, some element or some character from your past returns with an offering of sorts. And you've got here as well a bit of give and take with the Six of Pentacles. This is about um, the balance between what you give in and what you take from a relationship or in a situation. It can sort of denote a need to, to be willing to accept help that is coming your way or perhaps to be the, the, the one who gives the help. So this is about benefactoring. But um, yeah, looking at it, it's sort of, there's a, there's a where you are now, there's, it's, it's a time perhaps where you're trying to get some balance um, with, and that, that's linked with something about the past coming back to the fore. And it's about needing to have enough resources. With your challenges now, the Queen of Cups, needing to get on top of your emotions, needing to master your emotions. So I get a sense it links here, you know, with um, the Six of Cups. So perhaps there's a need to um, not allow your emotions to run away with you. So not to get too caught up in reverie and nostalgia. Be careful about, especially you've got the boundaries here. For those of you who are thinking of returning to a relationship from the past, I get a sense it's quite um, a clear warning to be sure of um, not allowing your, your emotions to overwhelm you and to keep clear boundaries. Also, you, as part of your challenges is that things are going to be going slowly for you now. Um, there's a, the hanged man speaks of suspension, uh, of energy, of needing to hold back from acting so that you can get in touch with your intuitive side and perhaps gain some enlightenment. So there's your challenges to um, not allow your emotions to run away with you in this situation. You need to um, hold back a bit um, and hopefully you'll, you'll, you know, you'll find that you'll, you'll get that moment of action and you'll know when it is. But for now, there's this challenge of holding back and it may feel like a sacrifice, but it's it's sort of um, essential that you assess the situation carefully. Because here you have in your guidance card, 
sort of tells you not to worry there will come a time when you know that the um, moment is ready to take action and then things will really begin to open up because the eight of wands speaks of unimpeded action so suddenly after a period where things seem nothing seems to be happening or when when you're holding back suddenly you know the time is right and you can move forward towards that success card the sun so your guidance card shows a, you know communication will open up the moment will be right for you to move forward and you'll feel that suddenly things are going perhaps at a pace that's almost too fast for you and the sun is sort of all about that ability that that um, receptiveness to appreciate the goodness in the situation this is about warmth growth light uh, and it does denote success so it's almost like suddenly after a period of struggling almost to to um, contain your emotions or to master your emotions and, and, and a, a, a need to hold back for waiting for some enlightenment suddenly it breaks free and things move forward and they move forward with a sense of joy with this uh, potential for growth and stability and a sense of success but um, the energies you're moving towards it's good here you've got the king of cups um, this is to me um, this does really seem to speak of relationships um, in in this um, spread for you this week because it sort of suggests to me that um, you about it suggests you'll be able to navigate your way through something that is quite Perhaps what's held you back is the sense of unfairness with the five of swords this is about victory at a cost or about people or someone a character being selfish you know um, acting almost Machiavellian like um, taking what they need in, in, in without considering the, the effect this has on others but next to the King of Cups, which is all about that totally different sort of energy, that empathic, compassionate, um, masterful um, way of dealing with emotional or um, thing, matters of the heart, shall we say. So I get a sense here um, of overcoming whatever this potential trouble is which is indicated in the Brer Oracle card, overcoming this, um, this warning or this troublesome, this, this danger, shall we say, in a relationship that, that could be, cause it to be very one-sided and finding instead um, a, a love that you can rely on that is stable that is um, worth the effort that is sort of something that's set to go the the long haul and that is um, allows open and compassionate communication rather than a one-sided um, rather than a one-sided um, relationship. Now just, just to get a sense that for many of you Geminis, there's a, 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 bit, a bit of a, a dilemma or a warning about a potential relationship that's, um, it could be someone coming back from the past. Let me just move the cat out from here. Or it could be you wanting to find a love similar to one you had in the past but needing to hold back rather than delve straight into this connection because there's a big question here of the the give and take the fairness of the situation but then 
Your guidance card suggests that with clear and open, honest communication, you can really find a successful relationship where you overcome this fear or this potential problem of an imbalance in give and take and find something that is a lot more fair and compassionate and stable, something that can go the long haul and find that meaningful connection. So there you have it, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed your reading and that it resonates with you. And if so, please remember to like, share and subscribe and then enjoy the next two weeks. They do seem to be quite emotional. And God bless you till we meet again.